after this one, we have two more best of threes that are going to be covered by Scrawny and Launders a little bit later on. They're going to be amazing games. So you've got your whole day planned out already. And we've got a B-Rush that's coming in. They've already boost, boosted up into the corner. It's a three-man setup here at the bomb side. They actually have a huge plan to deal with this on the side of Heroic. Early kill for Stown. Refresh will follow it up, and that's a really good lockdown. I don't know how they bring it back in this round phase. They're in a lot of trouble. They've been slowed down. Brokey will get the one, but there's way too many people on the other side. And now it's on Rain and Brokey to try and fight their way back in a two versus four. They're actually finding some good openings right here. And they find another headshot. Rain finally goes down. Otherwise, the king of pistol rounds and Brokey is now on his own. That was it. That was it. He's going to walk into the crossfire now. He does a good job of closing off the angle, but it's not enough, Brokey. That was so well played, though. Keeps the pillar to his left, so he turns it into a 1v1. It was the best case scenario for him. Had he been able to get an instant kill there, there was a real chance in that 1v1. So close. But Stalin, the, the presence, they didn't even realize then. Kerrigan has no idea how he's dying in that situation, and so there's that element of surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, always hype. Keep that in mind. Yeah, they are. They're also the favorites, according to the odds, as you could tell. It is pretty close, though. Not a huge discrepancy, in my opinion. So, interesting game. Fair. I think this is fair. It's not a 50-50. Phase are definitely underdogs. Yeah. But uh, it's, not out. it's not out of control. This is a favorite setup for Heroic. They love to go with this one. True. Um, one in window, one top mid. Twist is there to trade and takes that one out of the picture. That's huge. That's absolutely fine. Oh. And that AK already coming into good hands. Got good use there from Twist. Rain, see if you can get anything out of this as well. Oh, Tessa's, the timing is unbelievable. But yeah, now he's in that kitchen in the hallway. And it means they can just stay there, staying grouped around the middle, the, the other three members of Heroic. I think this is a really, really good setup. He's going to have the advanced warning. If they come up connector or even out onto the, the A ramp there, they can, they can just kind of snipe at them at a distance. All of my stuff going to be the first point of contact. And very hard to clear this one, maybe especially against an MP9. That's an easy kill. They're already rotating out of middle, though, and that actually could have been very dangerous. Could have been a double there for Rain, and that would have maybe blown up the round. 40 seconds still left. Brokey and Twister in the middle with the bomb. Yeah, the only issue is that they have to deal with Shush. Shush doesn't have a whole lot of health to work with, though, so that is the one thing that they have going for him right now, FaZe. It's just that Shush needs to play it passive. Shush with the ramp push as well, trying to get some information early on with 25 seconds left. Realizes now that the site is open, and he's going to be calling in the rotation. His teammates, however, all the way on B site. Longest rotation of their lives to get back over here. And Twist is going to be holding that with the AK. There is a world in which he can win this double fight, but it is not easy. They don't have any flashes or anything. He's going to get the one, but Tess is good spacing right behind him. They did almost line up for it. And now Roki with the Deagle on his own. No one has any nades left, so it's just going to be down to the raw mechanics here. They don't actually check it all the way. Brokey walking out and executing. Shush. That's a nice kill. And Tess is now down below. He's got a bit of time, but no kit. So it's going to be the full 10 seconds. And Brokey's playing this one perfectly. Comes out. Almost finding him. Still three seconds left. Tess is. He gets the kill, but loses the round. Phase. What a great victory already. Oh, terrific stuff. Getting pumped up and fired up. They know that they have to provide some results here, Anders. They know that the pressure is on them. That they fell short in the main. There was a lot of expectations on phase. There was a lot of waiting anticipation to see what they would do when we got to land. And I think they fell short on the major, and I think they know that too. So coming into coming into Blast Ball Final, I think that they themselves are, are acknowledging that they need to step up and actually need to provide some Ws here. So definitely big round here to win at the beginning of this map, not letting Heroic run away with it. You got to check Heroic early. Because if they start rolling fast, it's going to get so hard to deal with. Yeah, they really seem to be one of those momentum teams. Really cool to see the early aggression in Palace, though, from Heroic. Double push into Palace, really looking for the fight. Nobody from FaZe, though. But at least that's some information gained here for Heroic. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad. Just uh, still working together. Shush and Tess is walking around as a little team. Checking out the ramp at the moment. Middle being worked by FaZe. But they're taking it real slowly. They don't want to walk into any weird traps here in the third round, especially once you've you've got that early victory on the second one. You you want to make sure you don't give it back too easily. Tess, sure, sure, a little bit further up there. Could be interesting. But um, otherwise, there's, there's no real shenanigans coming out here for Heroic. They're keeping it pretty 
cool at the moment. Smoke is up. That allows them to see if they can clear the corner to watch the catwalk. And it looks like they're going to be trying to split that B-bomb site. Deep in there. Yep, that got spotted. Refresh. Missing the opportunity for the instant headshot. And he will not get a second one either. Rain will take him down. And looks like they might actually cancel out that B-part. They're sort of faking it. And now they're going to be going back through underpass. Stown goes down. Shush out here. Nice position for the M4A1. And with Tessas on a kill on Rain, they might have overthought this. They might have overcomplicated it, FaZe. 24 seconds left, and they know that somebody's jungle as well. So they have to waste time coming over here looking for this fight. Nice double clear. Olafmeister takes point. 15 seconds left on the clock, and they still need to get the bomb planted. Oh. Oh, how do they do that? It's not easy. It's made its way on. Shush, he's up in the apps as well. Is he going to swing for it? Bomb not found a piece. He can't escape. He was out in the open. He had to swing wide for it. Done. FaZe are losing it. And that's actually something that we saw in the Major as well, where FaZe, they overcalled some rounds. They, it's like they they were just overcomplicating things. Instead of going for the easy answer, they were just like, oh, trying to think three steps ahead. You know, we, let's get clever here and try and, you know, pull a fast one every single round. And that ended up costing them in the Major. So... We'll see if that's going to continue to be a problem here. Yeah, you're right. I mean, it's also tricky when you've got someone like Carrigan who is, you know, has all of that experience. I mean, one of the, maybe the most experienced in-game leaders we've ever seen. So he's got that deep playbook without a doubt. But he needs to think like that, uh, you know, what is it? The, the Copenhagen uh, interior design. Well, now, maybe he's leaning a bit heavy into the... Uh, the other, the other side of it. That was a good round, though. They managed to get in with the Mac 10s, get the kills. It's three to one in favor of Phase, leading into the fifth round, and a bit of a heavy early sort of. They were running B in case it's a B rush, and then they all group up in middle. But it means they're basically playing this A bomb side as a retake, which you can do. Certainly, certainly one of the easier bomb sides to retake because yep. you can get out here with some clever nades, start to create some room. Good pressure getting put out here by uh, Phase as they push onto the bomb side, though. It's that this is the power of the M4A1S, though. You can just spray through that smoke and you don't even care because they, there's no tracers to give away your position. Look at all this damage that they're just cranking out. These guys on phase, none of them have died yet, but they've taken some damage already. Two smokes on Molotov on the side of Heroic for the retake. It's not that much to work with, but it could be enough. A little bit worried because that bomb is actually pretty quickly down. And Heroic, they need to think about that. They need to have enough time to actually get the smokes onto the site and everything else. Shush will get a kill, but Tessis go down and goes down in return, and it's still a three on four right now. All of Meister, can you do much from the ramp here? Twist is going to be out of it, and he will be alone. One versus three, they're going to tap the bomb, but a headshot on Shush, and that bomb, yeah. They just did not leave themselves enough time, and I think they also misplaced the smoke, and they're going to lose it. Phase, you know, get back in action, it will win the next one. Right. Obviously, if it happens consecutively, four rounds in a row like this, eventually... That becomes a really sort of hollow thing to say, and, and people won't really trust it in the same way. Nice little boost there to try and look over. Nearly could have had the opportunity. Sixth round is coming up, and hopefully for Hero from Heroic's point of view, they can start to turn this around and win some of those important clutches. Stown with a good kill on Rain is a nice beginning to the round. And I don't know how much info they have behind it, but there's no one in the middle at the moment. That is such a filthy grenade as well. Starting to see that come back into the flow of things as well. That jumping peak towards B apartments that are used by Tessas. It's nasty, and it gets you a lot of info very quickly. And unless they're prepared for it, odds are you'll get away with it like we just saw. So now, FaZe, at least they've shown some presence over here towards B, and they've still got a mountain of utility to use. So look at the comparison between how many grenades FaZe have going into the later part of this round and how many Heroic have. So there's a big opportunity here for FaZe. The only issue is that Tessas has been boosted up, and he's been pushing B apartments this entire time. You can see the rotation coming yep. in from Heroic now towards the A bomb site. Tessas has gotten them all of the info. FaZe Clan are about to walk right into the blender. Yeah, this should really be a checkmate kind of play i don't see a way out of this less than 40 seconds it's all being signaled it's all being telegraphed they know exactly what is coming they have four people on the bomb site and a fifth one flanking them and phase don't even know about it they think they're being very clever about all of this like yeah we're gonna hit, get to find a way to hit the bomb site but they know everything shush goes down as the only player so far all of my is gonna fall next kadian getting a kill and a double in fact it's a good round for him Oh, what a win. nightmare for Brokey at that point. It's like, where are you turning? <laughs> You're just getting shot from everywhere at that point. Hard, hard counter. It doesn't get any worse than that. And that was played perfectly by Heroic. They set the bait. It's like, 
winning hand in poker. You know, you're just trying to bet just enough to keep them going into the site, right? You're just trying to, you know, hide it just enough so that they're following you along because you've got the winning hand. You know you've got the winning hand. Yeah. You just need to slow play it to bait them into the bomb site. That was played wonderfully by Heroic. Or oh, could be maybe a bit of a quick one here, depending. It might just be depending on whether or not they can get the opening or not. But you could see Rain is already setting up one of those smokes towards the B bomb site. Mm -hmm. And then the rest of them presumably going to be flashing their way through. Tess's nade in hand, it's going to go past them. It might do a bit of damage, but he still has to deal with the front of the push here. Down in the underpass as well, refresh, slowing them down a bit. That's actually interesting. KDM with a kill over the smoke to take down Kerrigan and FaZe. Yep, they're out on the bomb side, but they, once again, they're kind of already a little bit, uh, I don't want to say locked in, but there's a lot of reinforcements here. They do fall back heroic. I'm not sure why. Are they thinking, I mean, hesitation on their side, which is a rare thing. It looks like they may just be trying to reposition because the bomb has yet to be planted. So Refresh and Kadian now buddying up to take over short together. Rain is going to have to take point here. I wonder if the slow bomb plant is what threw them off a little bit. If they were wondering if, if there could have been some kind of a fake involved there. It looked like they were a little bit hesitant. Dangerous move going back out of the window. It's a four and three, though, for the retake. Stown with a good headshot to take down Twist. Wall of Meister and Brokey trying to stay alive. It's a strong, clean headshot with the AK from Brokey, and Olaf will follow up, and they just keep going. The last defenders here on the B-bomb site, and they're doing such a good job. Kadian has to back on out. That is, again, phase. That's a two-on-four that they managed to win. What beautiful work in the post-plant there from FaZe Clan. Heroic showing some hesitation, and that's all the way before the bomb even gets planted. It feels like Heroic are kind of hesitating on how they want to... Exceeded the, uh, the allotted amount of time for building this roster a bit, but... Yeah. That could also just mean that it, it's going to happen now. You know, it could just be, oh, well, you know, he was a bit overdue on it. Now, maybe they are ready. They are certainly looking pretty good right now. Some of these rounds, I mean, if, if FaZe get one or two openings instead, and they actually, instead of having to fight their way back in a two on four or two on three, mm -hmm. if they're actually ahead, it could be even more one-sided. Double Op has been picked up now on the side of Heroic. Well, the thing is, Anders, you know, Batman's got all the money. FaZe have got the Batman logo, right? You know, so they've got true. all the money too, but Batman wins. So FaZe need to need to step up on that front. I think that's what everybody's waiting to see here. You know, Batman doesn't lose. Batman wins. The way to, to, to defeat Batman usually is by kidnapping someone he likes, isn't it? <laughs> you don't defeat him directly. So, Try and go another way. How do we do this? <laughs> this is a good question. Maybe I don't know. We can we can work on that a little bit. I was gonna say they could they could kidnap Pimp, but that's just he was on my mind, you know. He is on your mind. I don't know if uh, the Fays are gonna be losing anything over that one though. <laughs> Tessus and Kadian in the B bomb site. Uh, Rain is in the middle, so the rest of them are gonna be hitting that B bomb site really hard again, trying to test the defense over here. They got in last time and they won the two on four, so it's hard to blame FaZe for wanting to retest the setup out here. Kadian with a good double kill on that AWB is back for more. Bit risky on the third peak, but he is still alive. And now he can slow it down. 20 seconds. Wow. Tessus, that was really, really awkward. I am shocked that he got that kill on Kadian. It looked like he was looking straight up into the sky. Rain, yeah. They oh, what? There's no way! Stown is on his own. Brokey and Rain have found their way back into the round, and they could get the bomb plant as well. They have not just enough time for it here. Wait, did they come off it? Why? Why is this happening? I am losing my mind. What happened? What happened there? There was enough time. He started planting with five seconds on the clock. And, uh, we'll, get, we'll get a replay, I hope. This is, I mean, this is one of the most beautiful transfers as well. Sick control there by Rain. What happens? What causes them not to plant? Yeah, I'm just, nothing. No, we don't see it. There's no, uh, there's, listen, if it's a one-on-one, -on -one, you could absolutely justify going for a fake plant because you don't, you don't know for sure someone could be peeking you, but two-on-one -on -one like that, I have no idea. That is... I am mystified. Yeah, it's an absolute and unmitigated error, disaster. It happens. Human error, right? I mean, it, it happens. You can make a mistake, but that is a round that you really want back if you're FaZe Clan. You'd lost the round thanks to Cadian, just doing tremendous work, and fought your way back into it only to lose again. I don't even know. Heroic now. This, if this fires up Heroic, FaZe are going to be kicking themselves. It surely must. I mean, you're going to be you're going to be laughing all the way if that happens. Shush. Playing that triple box, gonna be shut down eventually. Tech nine at range. Yeah, what? Tech nine at range? Like twist making the tech nine look like a deagle all of a sudden? I don't know. 
It's wild times. Well, we promised you at the beginning that this was not going to be a boring game, and so far it's, it's shaped up that way. Brokey, good shot under a minute now. He's going to go straight for the bomb plant. He's got the health for it too. Not impossible that he could win this one, and he even makes the escape out there. They have a smoke for the bomb, and yeah, so picking up the orb might not be the best case, but actually, if he gets a flick like that, he's going to be caught right afterwards. I was going to say, the problem with the orb is if they smoke it and try and go for the defuse, mm -hmm. that orb's obviously a little bit less reliable, so... Right, so this was a replay. This I mean, was a replay from when they came off of the bomb. They had... <laughs> Olaf Feister <laughs> says it all, like... <laughs> Olaf Feister's face there. Um, <laughs> because he started planting with four seconds. That's it. You, you only need just under slightly under four seconds to get the bomb planted. It just it may it may just be I don't know. <laughs> human error. We'll call it, we'll chalk it up to human error. <laughs> I love all of my face at that moment. It's a, it's the uh, the Amazing. expression that says a thousand words, even though it doesn't change. Just that one hand gesture. Yeah, yeah. Says a thousand words. Wow. Well. Yeah, and like, I mean, it's mistakes were made without a doubt. Now they're back to Deagles. And Heroic are back in the game. That absolutely changed a lot. That is a, that is a round that we're going to go and revisit later on to see how much of an impact it's actually going to have because we're still dealing with the consequences here. Kadian has pushed up really deep into the B hallways. He can look deep with that AWP. It's always good. Tess is not going to be caught here. And he had down on the... Crossfire, he was in jungle, so he could just swing in, even if Tess's oh, got traded, probably would have won that fight anyway overall. Oh, did they go for more? Wow. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Stavin was ready for that one. Close enough to hear those footsteps, and this is going to be a little bit of a weak round coming in here from FaZe, just getting picked off one after the other. Not a single kill going the way of FaZe Clan with those Deagles. So unfortunate turn of events because that's going to revitalize Heroic's economy now as well. Heroic going to be able to get the full nades going as they please. A full buy. And we're tied up 5-5. Five to five. And this is really where FaZe, I think, need to come up with some spades here. Maybe some going back to the mid control. Just start to get over. Just kind of reset. Yeah, it felt like they've been, they've been trying to... to test that B defense a lot there we and go. early mid yeah yeah they're going for it Ooh, nade it's gonna soften up rain a bit that's nice dude this is like it's just these m4a1s and mid spam that smoke is i mean that spam through the smoke is so brutal it's not far being on the other side is it shushin refresh and test is all pushed up really far into the the a site all the way to the ramp akadian Feeling probably a little bit alone out there, but then again, he's kind of the captain of the team, so yeah, it's his choice, right? So you guys could lean deep as you want on the other side. I'll defend the B-bomb side on my own. It's going to be fine. He's worried about short as well now, but Stavin's rotated over to help him out. In the meantime, info push. Yeah. Shush and refresh down ramp. This is big. Yeah, but they're going to come around the corner. A huge mistiming there for Shush, unfortunately. That is, he was so sure that someone could have been hiding up there. He had to be thorough and check it. And the fact that he was pushed up that far, yeah, they're going to be paranoid about more people being there without a doubt. So really unfortunate timing there. Otherwise, from a, just a, a, a pure Counter-Strike point of view, really cool move from Heroic. But sometimes timing is just not with you. Oh, this is such a sick read from FaZe, though. If they go towards yeah. B now, Kadian is here alone. Stavon is only just again. now rotating back through CT spawn. They are definitely going to test them again. Oh, missed timing almost, but he turns it around. They're jumping out the window, trying to avoid that AWP. He's got Stown down there with him as well. Close range, and the timing is actually really good for that peak. Kadian finally goes down, and they're going to find the kill in the middle of us. All of mine that he snuck through the window to catch Refresh before he could be there in time, and that is what will ultimately win them the round here. So, not bad. Tessus will have to make his escape, and FaZe will find a sixth round. That is some faith in your teammate, though, from Gideon, yep. where he knows Stavin's got his flank, so he's not even looking away towards the bomb site. That is, that is some sick discipline. I love to see it. And he nets another kill off the back of that, right? So both kills go in the way of Kadian in this round. Stavin dropping the ball a little bit there. But it is still an all-important sixth round getting important. Here's Twist Perspective, annihilates Kadian. And this is Olaf Meister catching out that flank, or that rotate, rather, from uh, A. Yeah, huge play. Well, this is where uh, Heroic are really happy that they had that uh, the five players survive against that eco earlier.
they have a little bit of money to work with in this round. If they wanted to go for the buy, they could. Wouldn't be the prettiest one, but it's an option. Yeah, and it's looking like they're going to go for it as well. So fortunately for Heroic, it's not a real chance for FaZe to just run away and start getting another round on the board against Pistols. Heroic can put up a fight here and still end this uh, with a respectful, a respectable 9-6. They could. The economy for, uh, for either side is super questionable. It's possible that Heroic could win this one and then almost get a free round on top of it. So yeah, there's lots to look forward to. I think I, everyone's kind of shown up to play. This is this just started a, such a wonky game, but now it mm -hmm. feels like we're kind of getting back to a little bit more of a normal rhythm. Sure, just playing in a dangerous position if they have Molotovs. This is a very commonly Molotov position that uh, could just get him killed right away. Nice find from Kadian. Playing at the edge of that one Molotov. Now they throw a second deeper Molotov, but no one's going to be grenading Shush, and he gets a straight headshot to take down Kerrigan. So defense is looking decent right here. Tessis is going to find all of Meister, and it's another two on four, and there should be no way that FaZe win this round. It shouldn't be possible, but at the same time, it is still FaZe Clan with Twist and Brokey alive. Well, they've already won a couple of these outrageous rounds, so... Dude, Brokey's got 14 kills right now. Twist is the, the runner-up on the team with seven. So if, uh, if you have these two alive, you're still cooking with gas if you're FaZe. 44 seconds left. They just need to take their time. Yeah, we should twist is communicating a bit as he's checking the middle. Really weird off angle there. Hard for him to check. I don't know how he would have done that. Stown's going to catch him. And Brokeep, 30 seconds. Yeah, he's got the op. Yeah, that's probably the better weapon to try and keep alive into the next one. So it's going to be a sixth round for Heroic here. Again, more of a normal end to the round. Normally two versus four end up this way. So not that bad. I, I mean, this is setting up to be such an amazing game. This is uh, only the first map, of course. Second one is Nuke and Inferno deciding it. Yeah. Now, Inferno deciders are always, Legendary. always delicious. Exactly. We need to get there. And then you can get into Inferno where it can get a bit more scrappy. So there is still a winning formula here for FaZe, without a doubt. But uh, Nuke is not a good map for FaZe whatsoever. So they need to get the job done here on Mirage. Well, they've got that boost in the middle trying to look over. Not finding anyone, unfortunately, but it's a nice idea. Bit more of a lean towards the B-bomb side, or I'd say Tessis and Refresh are, are lean so deep That's... in the B-bomb side that they can't help out the middle too much at the moment. This is one of the things, though, coming in from FaZe, which is really interesting, is that Brokey is sitting with 14 kills, but he has zero opening duels, and none even attempted. It really plays into his style. Like, his style is not to be the aggressive opper. He doesn't go out there and look for duels. And he's caught some heat in the past from analysts on this on this very topic, right? You're on mm. T-side, you're, you're, you're the AWP, you should get out there and you try and make some plays with that 4750 gun, right? Yeah. You have the expensive gun. You should be out there trying to find some kills. He does so in this round, that's solid. But uh, it's really not Brokey, you know, creating the room for the team. Yeah, that's an interesting uh, point. There are, there are some different flavors of, of all players like that, for sure. But it is really as a huge tool, isn't it? If you can if you could just find that one shot to open the round with. He nearly had it there, but um, I think some of the bricks out there took, uh, took more of it. They do look pretty dense. So 30 seconds left. They're going to go for a bomb plant, and they're actually going to be successful in planting the bomb, which is wild. It's, it, they plant the bomb without killing anyone in that round. Kadian goes down. Brokey with the one kill there. Now nades are raining down everywhere around him, but he's still alive. Tessis is coming into the flank as well. He's going to win that. Oh, actually, Refresh gets a double before Tessis gets that one, and they know where both Kerrigan and Twist are, so it's not going to be easy here. Twist trying to take the fight, but on the other side, he has to worry about the bomb, and he's just fighting here for a long time. There's the kill from Shush, and they're going to have enough time to get the defuse in at the end. So, close round, considering that was what? Deep onto somebody else like Rain to get that uh, moving for FaZe Clan. So, as far as FaZe are concerned, though, I mean, still a, a respectable scoreline so far. They still have six rounds on this T side of Mirage. It's not done yet. There's still rounds in the half, and change of pace coming in here from FaZe. Brokey. Really hoping that Katie and Artesis was going to be aggressive and be apartments this round. And they've been a lot, right? Yeah. It's actually a smart play, get, sort of based on the on the local history of this particular game. It makes sense to try and go and find someone out there. Shush is playing forward. I, I think this isn't the most aggressive CT sign that we've ever seen, but I think it's just enough. It's really cool to see Heroic 
They keep putting a couple of players a little bit forward, even just on the ramp, even just a little bit in the B hallways, but they try and get just a bit more information than, um, than some teams certainly get on the CT side of Mirage. It is the calling card of Heroic. Yeah. They are always pushing. You have to assume that they are always pushing and being proactive on the CT side. And that's when Heroic look their worst is when they aren't playing to their strengths. Their strengths are to get out there and to look for info and to fight. Shush, right on the other side. Refresh is here. It's a mean crossfire, but part of it is already broken up. Stalm with a very important kill to help out Shush, who otherwise could have maybe been overrun. But Brokey is feeling really alone in here. He's got the bomb. He still gets the kill on Tessus, and he supports that jump. Oh, that's wild. He should have been dead. He was in a three-way crossfire with the bomb and an AWP, and he managed to fight his way out anyway. Unbelievable. 30 seconds now. Stown setting up for a kill. Yeah, and he had time for that one, so makes it a bit more awkward now for Twist to try and get the bomb down, and he won't be able to. Kadian has found him, and now it's 20 seconds. One versus one, Orp versus Orp here, and this one could be everything for FaZe. Like you said, this map is important to them. They might not have much of a chance on Nuke. It's going to be 10 seconds now, and Brokey... Is he going to fake it or just go straight for it? Nope. Ice cold. Puts it all the way down. At least they'll get the money, but he cannot escape. Stown had already walked out, and that's a big clutch coming out for Heroic. Ah, want to take initiative and get aggressive? Yeah, yeah it just doesn't pan out that time. Oh, Carrion is kind of quick in the middle here, running on the other side of the smoke. That actually could have worked. He actually almost caught him. But the rest of them are up in the a, a palace, and if they go quick right now, one good flash against Shush, and he is probably going to get overwhelmed, but... That smoke is making them really apprehensive. They could go for it here. This could just be an... If they just walk out, even without the flashbang, if they just walk for it, Shush could just get completely caught. There's a bit of a spot. Stown, he's still going to be found, but the lineup is there. They're trying to fall back, and Shush is going to catch both of them. Not even uh, worried about the reload just yet. Molotov? That's a bit awkward, isn't it? Could have been a, probably a kill there on Olaf Meister. He was already low on health, so that might have been a chance now for FaZe to get back into the 15th round here. Last at a half, of course, Kerrigan. Headshot on the shush. Tess is walking up here in Olaf. Yeah, he's so low. He is a bullet away from death, and the gun barrel is showing, but Rain comes in for the rescue. The hero. The Norwegian Viking. Yeah, they gotta help each other out, don't they, up there? Rain is sneaking through. They really are trying to use him to pry this uh, round open. Still have 35 seconds. And Refresh looking for the lineup here, but it's Rain coming in with more headshots. He's actually doing it. Kadian is on his own. All of my is right in front. Easy no scope there. And yep, yeah, he knew Rain crossing onto the other side here. I think he saw him, didn't he? Maybe he didn't. It looked like he saw him. And Kadian expecting for him to come take a look. But Rain is just waiting inside. Doesn't worry about it here. Kadian. Oh, the timing is so good. Oh, but he's way too quick. And it's going to be Rain to win the round. Absolutely amazing stuff. They get seven at the end of the half. We'll see if they can continue into the set. Heroic. Pop off every chance you get. Because you know those guys are howling on the other side. And you're definitely close enough to hear him do that. So let him know. You win a big round like that, you better let him know. You know what? It wasn't the most intimidating war crime, but it doesn't matter. He's got 17 kills in the first half. He's allowed to do whatever he wants. And exactly. It's an absolutely amazing performance from him in the first half. Second half is coming up. FaZe are now on the CT side. Heroic on the T side. And I know this is a dead even game right now. No one can predict this at the moment here. Kerrigan and Olaf Meister holding the B bomb site. There is a... This is all just a fake. Bomb is at the A ramp. So they're trying to make as much noise if they can find a kill over here. That's when you really sell it. But this, I'm not sure. Look at FaZe. They're not moving. They're like, yeah, not, not impressed right now. Not buying it. FaZe don't flinch. They really are sticking, uh, sticking to their guns at the moment. Oh, man, look at this, dude. None of them have moved in the last, what, 20 seconds? Odds still looking pretty, pretty much the same as they did at the beginning of the match, which makes sense, I think, given how even this is. Brokey might be the po first point of contact here. Looking into the middle. Ooh, the timing, and he jumps. If he hadn't and had just gone for the peak, that is probably a kill. Now they're going to be setting it up. The bomb coming out of the ramp. Three in middle and rain. Nice range for the USP, but he is getting shot on the side of the head. Brokey will be able to help him out. And this is looking good. Trading three to one in favor of FaZe. If they can win this pistol round, they are well on their way to winning the map as well. Stown and refresh, two versus three, 24 seconds. It is not a lot of time. 
They're not even gonna fake it. If someone peeked CT spawn here, they'd have nothing to do, but they just go all in on it instead, and Brokey will run under the site and close out the round. And he is playing so well. It's three kills for him in the pistol round, and he's up to 20. Dude, he's just going crazy right now. This is a star level performance from Brokey. Redemption for uh, the young lad, because, uh, you know, the major didn't go the way of phase, but if they can just get some results here on LAN in Copenhagen, that would be terrific. There we go. 3K, it off. baby. Loving it. And now all well, Heroic are going to be the ones on the back foot, although they get the bomb plant, so we'll have a round of eco here and then the buy in the following round after this round of saving. So nothing too crazy here. I like that from Heroic, though. That was an interesting round, but, man, you really got to give credit to FaZe where they just did not flinch. They just, nobody moved. After Heroic make a little bit of noise towards B, everybody held their lines for, like, 20 seconds. Probably helps as well that one of the one of the players that was over at the Beholders is Kerrigan. So he's the he's the captain of the team. He he has a you know a direct sense of what's happening. He's like, yeah, I'm not really buying it. This doesn't feel like it's any kind of a B hit. Um, that is actually a really I mean Kerrigan versus Cadian in terms of calls right now. The IGL. Yeah. Makes me wonder if that if there's going to be games within games here. This is obviously two Danes. For sure, right? Um, I think you have to long term that you have to put your money on Kerrigan still um but it's not all down to that and obviously you know maybe Exis has had a bit of time too to look into what FaZe uh, are doing and and how they like to play it could get interesting so far the Deagles in this round haven't really done much there's a good chance now for FaZe to get into the lead even if it's just a one round lead feels a bit better to have that going on Stown on his own one versus four here could we Request another Deagle headshot potentially. Oh, well, if he's low on health. Yeah, Don't gotta be it. careful. Don't overpeak that. But I do want one of the FAMASs moving closer here from Face Clan so that they can snag that M4A1. Yeah, that's a freebie. Can they save this M4A1? The FAMAS? Yeah, yeah, nice. Okay, well, at least they do that and then they just lost another FAMAS, so whatever. They save the three M4A1s. That's what matters here for Face Clan. And it's looking like what? At least initially, we will have some presence in mid from Tessus. The rest of them going B apartments could go into a mid crunch here later on. Yeah, not a bad idea. Could be. Oh, dude. So FaZe know this. FaZe know what's up. They've. I mean. Yeah, but it might be. It might player. be too late. Heroic. If they if they pull the trigger right now, yeah, they're gonna have the information, but they can't rotate anyone else out here. Strong kill for Kerrigan. That is important. That's going to slow it down. And now that flank that's coming in is making such a big difference here. Heroic, they don't even know yet, but they have been absolutely figured out. Kerrigan with more frags and it's down and Tessus that are left. And Tessus, I mean, he would have been in such a cool position had his teammates actually got in and got the bomb down. But now it's just kind of nothing. So, yeah, rain and twist. It's a bit sad for them because they've been out trekking this whole time. I think this is homework. As he starts rotating back to join the rest of Heroic, there's already the push coming in from FaZe. So that feels like FaZe just knew what Heroic had planned for this round. And we're just ready with the homework. Down the middle we go. The entire Heroic lineup running and nearly catching. In fact, we'll be catching all of Meister off guard. Got to be careful here. Strong headshot from Tessas. Should be able to recover the scenario though. Shush is actually so deep in. I don't think they're going to be realizing this. If he comes back here, Brokey, is he going to be checking for it? There's an opportunity. Almost shot in the back with Shush. He still might be, but he turns around and takes down Brokey. That is a spectacular double kill. They did not see it coming in. Twist is already low on health. Now the bomb awkwardly is in the middle. Yeah. He's about to find it too. We do have the best observers in production, don't we? No one can match this. Shout out to and um, yeah, Twist trying to fall back. He sees the bomb, so he knows he has to play around it. They don't have grit. Well, they have a Molotov, but uh, Smoke would have made it a little bit easier to pick up the bomb. And they're trying to be real quiet with a twist coming back and discovering, like a detective, wait a minute, there was a bomb here and now it's guy's doing that. The numbers are in front of his head. The uh -huh. equations, he's like, where has it gone? Where it has could to it have gone short because uh, anywhere else he would have seen it. Yeah. Oh, oh, man. He himself was something of a magician, but they just pulled, they just pulled a bit of a trick on him, didn't they? The disappearing bomb act, but... He's made his whole head disappear, and that is magic. 25 seconds, Twist is relocating, and actually, this is so cool because 
Yeah, it's going to take some time, but in a one-on-one, -on -one, and especially with low health, that element of surprise is what is ultimately going to make the difference. Tess, as you could tell from everything that he's doing, he's still expecting him to come from the other side. He's not really aware yet, and he doesn't see him there either. Now, there is one more... Pro no, he hasn't picked up the Molotov. Tess's. I don't know if it's on the ground somewhere or not, but that grenade could make a huge difference. Twist, walking around, looking for him. Now has to make a bit of noise. Yeah, he's running out of time, unfortunately. He's going to go check all the way through. Some damage, but not enough for the kill. There's the Molotov I was talking about. He pushes him out, but it doesn't matter. Tess's. If he had a bit more health, that Twist, maybe he could have won that fight. It is so well played, and you could tell just how experienced Twist is with some of those situations, but he can't win the round. You tell the very, very... Yeah, because we normally talk about that. A team with a lot of firepower, you always... The, the sort of the, the common refrain is something like, yeah, but, you know, how many of them are really going to be playing well in the game? You know, it could mm -hmm. be like two out of five that play well. What about the rest but i agree with heroic what you're saying it very often it seems like it is kind of all of them doing a lot of work brokey is still ahead of the pack 21 kills on him so he's been playing real well kerrigan is looking deep into the b hallways something that kadian was doing as well on the ct side just waiting for the opportunity and ooh, rain he was all the way did he have a fight with shush just then she was just kind of looking that way. I feel like they might have actually stumbled into each other. Not that much to work with on the side of FaZe. And unfortunately, that one rifle is already gone. Kerrigan just caught with a really nice flashbang. Brokey's down here. Actually doing some damage with the USP. But eventually, it should all come to an end here as Heroic are looking to tie it up. It's the tickle fight. <laughs> when you're not hitting headshots at the USP, it, it really feels like you're doing nothing at all. It's true. So you're kind of getting there, but uh, in the end, not happening, and the pressure is going to start mounting. So pressure's on for FaZe. Now they need to, start, they need to uh, show up. It's 10-10, tied up, and already Brokey, passive stuff with that AWP. And, and it's worth reiterating, you know, it's just, it would be, a, it's not Brokey style to get out there and hunt with that AWP. No. Um... So we need to look to elsewhere. We need to look elsewhere on FaZe. Who's going to get out there and make plays? Yeah, because we talked about this when Heroic were on the CT side. Just a little bit of info. Pushing down the A ramp, you know, getting... Kerrigan had in the last round trying to look into the B hallways. But any little thing like that can make a big difference. But if you do none of it, then you're really blind as a team. It's really hard to, to make early rotations. You just won't know. This feels like a bit of a fake setup towards the B bomb side. Although I feel like it can't be that much of a fake. If it's just going to be a smoke and refresh running in for, yeah, so a smoke, a two smokes and maybe some flashbangs to follow it up. I wouldn't say that's a huge sell, but it is kind of uh, working on phase. They are rotating that way. Twist, though, massive kill. That is important. That might bring them back. That might be the thing that makes them think, wait a minute, why is there someone there when they're actually trying to hit the B bomb side? Which, of course, we can tell they're not. Timing there, but they don't know. They can't expect twists. So this is going to be big. Yep, twist. Oh, golden opportunity. Traded one for one. Hey, at least he did that much. Oh, wait. They're running back with the bomb. They want it because refresh is clearing the B bomb site. So they have to run the hallway. Kadian cannot stop. It's a long trek to get there. So knife out. Just speed up or you're not going to make it. If he slows down and all of my stuff, he catches him on the ground. It is over. They're never going to get the bomb back. Now refresh has gone down as well. Oh, no. They made that call immediately. Kadian, yeah, just keep running. There's no point in stopping. He has to go the full distance. And he's, no, I don't think he has it. Oh, it's such a shame. He needed one more second and he would have had the bomb plant at least. And it would have been a real interesting 2-1-2. Two -on -two. And Tess is going to be found on top of it. How that sounded is about how it felt for a Heroic at that moment. Because, <laughs> man, there was a chance. There was a chance. There was. What a play from Tessus. That was so cool. But every enough, yeah. every millisecond mattered there. If we go back and find and check the whole, we should do that. We should find a replay of the whole route that he ran and see if he at any point <laughs> missed the a jump, time. did any like bumped into a wall. If there is anything like that, that's what cost him the round. Yeah, we could have done that once upon a time. Well, here we go. Four of them in the middle, trying to get that control pushing up through underpass as well. Shush with a double opening will give them almost everything they need right here. And it's so early on now. They occupy everything. This is really awkward for FaZe. I almost feel like at this point they should try and retake middle with Rain, Brokey, and Kerrigan because if they stay with Rain alone in this A-bomb site, that doesn't feel like a winning formula either. Shush. Yeah, they try. Kerrigan really wants the information. But all he gets is a couple of shots of that AK. 50 seconds now. And Rain... 
How much could they ask of him? Yeah. Lone wolf on the bomb site. He needs some kind of help here. Oh, he spots Stalin at least. He's going to try and smoke it off, but they're going to find him. It's a nice attempt, but it will be the round going to Heroic here. And Roki should definitely make his escape and try and save that from us. And it just the tug of war continues between these two teams back and forth. As Heroic are the ones who are going to establish dominance again with the money on the board. Now they're going to be able to actually start to get the quite a, a flow going. Although Brokey showing some fight takes refresh out of the picture. If he can save this AK, actually, that'd be a pretty big play for him. Considering the rest of Heroic, there's a gap for him to exploit. He could actually make his way out. Yeah, how far can he get? <laughs> Don't want to stick around, but he obviously can't know what we know. There is a clear path in front of him. He's going to turn around. Hasn't seen anyone yet, but they're all going to be coming for him. There's the initial grenade to let him know, and the FAMAS will fall eventually. Ground, so it's still all eyes on phase. And now it's going to be the half by coming up or the force by. Never mind. They are going all in on this gamble from FaZe Clan. He was real blind. He was up. very, very blind, but fully invested as well here, FaZe. So if they lose this round, Instant call coming in here from FaZe Clan. They're going to rotate three to B. Really like this. I mean, this is the full-on gamble now. You yep. have to hope that you're going to be able to get in here and be able to do some damage. Yeah, it makes sense. Kerrigan is uh, <laughs> he's really escaped. Kadian, though, he seems to be aware. They might have heard it. Certainly knew. Kerrigan going to feel like he was being read there, which he was. Which he was. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes that happens. Shush and all of my are awkwardly close to each other, so it could be a bit of a... Weird scenario there. All of going to be walking out. That is a, that's a nice kill. But the bomb is going to be planted in B. So regardless, it's going to be 12 to 11. It will be heroic with a lead. Very tentative lead. The money is really what's uh, making life hard for FaZe right now. You said, you said Batman had all the money, but he's, he's run out. He's run out, yeah. This is, I guess, we're, we're, what we're witnessing is what would happen if Bruce Wayne um, was middle class. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Just the absolute struggle. Uh, not, not nearly, really. not nearly the same, is it? No, not quite. When you can just buy all the toys, um, like this, uh, this is. What is? Th is there a new Batman movie coming out? I don't know about what's Do happening. They never end. I, I think you know. Come on, it's Hollywood. They don't have. They haven't had an original idea in what sixty years. Could be true. Could be true. What can we do with? Uh, I mean, what can we do with Spaceman right now? Because what they have, AK. They have a scoot. They don't really It'll be heroic getting easier rounds without a doubt. And because we're so close to the end of the map, they don't have that much time to fix it either. The AK, the scout, a couple of deagles here. We've had some crazy rounds in this first uh, map already, so maybe this could be one of them for phase. They would love to start this out with a couple of clean deagle kills. And, you know, Olaf Meister's got a deagle. He's been known to flex that in the past. Molotov will yeah, be forcing that AK a little bit further back at least. Ooh, twist. He's back for action. He actually got pushed back here. Able to pick up a kill and a headshot as well to take down Shush. That is massive. They actually pushed him back into the Fender B bomb site. Oh, that is brilliant. Stown and refresh now. Two on three. The bomb awkwardly on its own here. Kerrigan trying to stay alive. That scout. Kitty get the job done? He's just playing hide and seek and Brokey shows up. It's forehand. It's, I mean, dude, him and Tessus both, man. The goblin grip, I don't, I don't know. Can't handle it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't handle it. But they go right back to it. Heroic. Straight back on to B. Yep, here we go again. Round two. 25th round, of course, in reality. It's going to be some trades. The MAC-10 is there. Refresh. Going to pick up the kill and pick up the AWP on top. Bomb is instantaneous here. And so is FaZe. They're all ready to go for the retake. Gun barrel showing and refresh. Not traditionally an AWPA, but he's going to get that kill and they're backing out. They know already. Wow. Yeah. They went straight back. They decided, you know what? That we was deserve that round. We're going to take it anyway. Yeah. I love it, man. It's like they just call it out as a fluke immediately and say, yeah, okay, we'll just go ahead with the execute this time around. And with that MAC-10, it changes everything. That change of pace, you can see he's just so fast out onto the site. And you can see the really effective players at that who are known for it as well. I mean, Amanek comes to mind as well. You know, just extremely effective players at throwing themselves out of the apartments and creating space for the rest of the team. Refresh plays that perfectly. And Heroic, a 13th round on the board.
it's just, yeah, that Mac 10 just, you're going to be so fast. You, know, you can't get clever with the flashes. You know, the guy's already in your face. And, well, this time around, grouped up and ready to go off the A ramp. Yeah, he was down there quickly. Mac, Mac, 10 of these bullets in your face. <laughs> there you go, man. Uh, Rain playing Shadow on his own. Very lonesome position here, and there's no chance for anyone to, to recover that. He hoped that that would be enough of an off angle to catch someone off guard. That's very awkward. Molotov in the corner. Tess. He, oh, sorry, Twist. He cannot escape. Oh, man. Harrigan looked like there was a bit of a lineup potential there, but he's only going to get one of them. And they, they need to save the, the, the rifles again. Unfortunately, FaZe, the, the money for the last five or six rounds has been the primary problem for FaZe. Otherwise, they're looking really competitive, but they do not have the money to keep up the fight. I feel like, I mean, they're, like, heroic right now, barring the one fluke round where Faze, where Twist happens to be in the right place at the right time with that AK and is the hero. Um, heroic are just playing so aggressively. What is happening? Oh, that's unfortunate. No. 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 What? He... Bouncing, <laughs> of course. Of course. Wow. Well, um, <laughs> we're certainly getting our money's worth here. Okay. We're in the 27th round. Rain is in the middle with the Deagle, but the smoke is up right in front. That is unfortunate. Throwing random bullets through the smoke is usually not the way to get kills, but whatever it takes, I suppose, at this point here. 14 to 12. I just wonder if we keep... Uh, we are seeing still Heroic just applying the pressure early. Yeah. Within a minute 30, they're already in mid. They're already popping out onto A. Twist has just tra traded places with them. This is going to get all sorts of awkward. Yeah, a bit of a chance there. I like the idea, but he's out of bullets trying to get the knife in instead. And Tess is not touched so far. Three versus five. They nearly lined up for a good little double there. Refresh. Are you going to get a second chance for it? No two for ones yet. Felt like that was a good <laughs> moment. I love how he's still holding on to this op as well. Yeah, he's like, if the Counter-Strike gods gift you an orb, you, you don't throw, throw it, it away. away. Yeah, you don't throw it away. You don't anger them like that. Fall off. I'm going to go down to Shush. It's 15 to 12. Heroic are a round away from winning the opening. And we said this is so important, right? By the way, Refresh has overtaken everyone. He's at 25 kills. One ahead of Brokey who's at 24. And then otherwise, it's Shush and Twist who are in third and fourth place there in terms of the frags overall. But that's impressive. Refresh has been... He's had... He, his career is on this crazy upward trajectory. He's been a real threat in Denmark for a long time, but now, yeah, he is really starting to sit at the top of the pack. It's really awesome to see. And just all out aggression from him. No fear whatsoever. Phase after the round of Eco, though. They're trying to get proactive here. I love to see this from Rain. Straight through is... And he doesn't catch him off guard. Tessus is just ready and waiting for it. It's heartbreaking. Phase trying to make the plays, but heroic. This time around, it's like they actually sit and wait and play default. This also is the first time in seven rounds, something like that, where FaZe actually have some kind of buy, you know, actual rifles and not just sort of a yeah. scout and a deal. It's been really awkward. It's a really awkward way to end the uh, the map potentially with, with just kind of, you know, trickling out of there with, with not enough weapons, not enough to fight back with. It's really awkward. Kerrigan is alone at B. Three people at the A-bomb side. Seems like a good call right now, but how long are they going to keep them there? This is down to, probably down to Kerrigan and how much, how much ice does he have in his veins? Because if they start to throw grenades in here, if he calls people back from A, they probably lose the round. Refresh, making noise. Kerrigan is still sticking around. He's not calling anyone out again. He has got so much experience. What a, what a genius. He's kept... The rest of the troops in A, which is objectively the right call. Now, they still have to win the fight, and that might be tricky with Shush getting that instant headshot. Brokey trying to get up and catch him as he was spraying through. 30 seconds left. Kerrigan is now back in middle. Is he going to expect for Kadian to be here? No, he's not. He makes a jump down, and that is too much. He goes down and twists us on his own, fighting every angle. He's going to get one of the kills. 18 seconds. He actually could win this. He might be able to do this. He's ready, and he's going to get the one on three. What a god. Such a delight uh, to, to see. It really is. But I've got to say as well, I'm beyond impressed that Kerrigan didn't call for anyone. There were grenades. There was refresh jumping down. And speaking of which, he's now on the A-bomb side instead, tearing it up. Okay, that's a dangerous jump. He is still alive, trying to find another one. And he's, he's actually made it down into the underpass now. Nade at his feet, more grenades, shooting at his teammates. It is madness in the middle, and he still gets the kill on Stown. <laughs> What's going on? They have the bomb at top mid. This game is 
oh, is man. one of the crazier ones I've seen in a while. But this is all over the place, Anders. Now the money is not that good. No, this could go into overtime. I mean, it's very, very likely that it will. Do Do they get off of overtime off of the well, twist round? That's nuts. They refresh just a minute for. Yeah, and Shush is making the long trek around. I mean, the fact that it's even a two on two. Why? They are both solo on health. Shush and refresh. But with AKs, I mean AKs, it might not matter. One shot, headshot, we're gonna get Broke's perspective again. Talk about coming up once again with the heroics here, Brokey. Twist had the monster round, but Brokey's still sitting at the top of the scoreboard with 28. Crazy, crazy performance out of him. Yeah. 36 seconds, let's see. If they turn this around, Heroic, I mean, it would be a fitting end to this map, given how crazy it's been. Refresh is looking for it, but yeah, they don't have the health to stick around in that. It is tempting, isn't it? It's been working well for them. Hard to disagree with that. Looks like they're slowing it down a bit already. They are maybe expecting for FaZe to, to come up with something here. Yeah, Blowing up the chairs, at least. They were definitely making it look like they could get aggressive here, Heroic, towards that B side of things. Cadian, there is the smoke. Beautiful work, man. Best of the best. No issues there. The observers, so good. Twist is going to be pushing that. This seems like a wild and crazy idea. Twist, please. He's going to be found and shush. Not like this. He took the opportunity. He's like, you know what? I'm feeling that. Second kill for him. He's been quietly getting a bunch of kills, shush, in, uh, in some of these openings here. And they're going to be catching Brokey as well. Like you said, not like this, but... Heroic have a different plan in mind. They don't want to see that overtime at all. They're going to be shooting Kerrigan in the back. It's a third kill for Shush and Ray.